welcome back to Christ First Homemaking. Today we are doing ramen cups. A couple days ago, I dehydrated um, some chicken and some ground meat. We are going to fill these jars up. We're gonna seal them because they are gonna go on the pantry um, shelf. They're not for like us to eat right now, they're for emergencies. Um, my kids do enjoy them. My son's actually eating one right now. We had one earlier, um, about an hour or so ago. And we are going to do beef and chicken. And we have some vegetables that are gonna go in there. And we have some um, bean threads that we're gonna use as well. They are not gonna be done hot. They're all gonna go in dry. And then we're gonna seal them, like I said, and then we're gonna put them on the pantry stove. So, so come on with us and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we are using pint jars. You can, we are using pipe jars. You can use whatever size jar that you choose to use. Just be mindful that you may, you may need more or less ingredients depending on what size you use. But we're gonna use pints. Um, I don't even know how many I have, but once we're finished, I will count them up and I will let you guys know how many we were able actually to do. I didn't do as much meat as I should have, but we're gonna use what we have and we're gonna see how far we get. I've been on my own since I was 17 and I had my oldest when I was still in high school so I did not know how to be a mother. Um, I just had, I had to learn on my own. I spent most of my life taking care of myself. You know, I didn't grow up in a godly house home and with somebody to teach me. I did not have that so anything that I learned it was from experience. I learned it from running the streets and you know just trial and error. But I don't want that for my children. I want them to be able to learn and to to learn in a, an environment that is a loving environment. This was such a great way for me to spend some time with my kids. I do need to get better at that. Just taking the time out with them to spend, um, to learn them. Because if you have children, you know your children are forever changing. And I definitely need to get better in that area. I know it's come from the pulpit and it's come from corrections and stuff, you know, that I, I got to tighten up. I got to get better at spending time with my children and loving my children, not just taking care of them, but loving them, teaching them, which I don't always do. I don't always get that right. When I first came to Christ, oh man, like just my relationship with my children was so bad. Um, I spent more time screaming and hollering than teaching them, you know, but I will say it has gotten a lot better, but I have not arrived y'all, not even by a long shot, but I do know I do want to get better in that area. I do want to love my children the way Christ loves them, you know, the unconditional love, which I'm not going to say I'm there. I am not going to say that because my love is very much conditional sometimes and I don't want to be like that. I want to love my children. You know, I didn't get that love um, from my grandmother or from my mother or my father. My father and my mother were both on drugs. They didn't raise me. You know, my grandmother um, took custody of us when we were small after my dad passed away and my mother left. But there was never that Christ-like love. I didn't grow up in a godly household. And that is what I am striving towards is providing a godly home for my children loving them where they can they know you know my mama loves me you know regardless of what happens that the love would always remain from you know chastisement and getting fussed at and you know through the ups and the downs and all the way around that they would know that I love them and so I do need to get better at just spending time with them um, you know, putting the broom down, putting the phone down, turning off the TV and just spending quality time. You don't have to spend money to spend time with your children. And so I just wanted to share that with y'all because, um, I don't want anybody to come on this channel and think, oh my God, she has such a great relationship with her children. It is not always like that. You know, there are days when I won't be wanting to throw my hands up because I just be so frustrated or overwhelmed and you know I know the word says to go seek counsel and I don't always do that but I I want to get better in that area you know the word of God says to train up your children in the way that they should go
you know, in the love and admonition of the Lord to train up them children that they can grow up in a godly environment that's just so full of love. And that's what I want to provide for my children. And so as I'm on this journey of learning them and, you know, kicking out even just my own selfishness and, you know, things that I think are better than what the Lord may think, to just lean on the Lord and trust in Him that, you know, even though I may not always get it right, that He is always there for me. You know, so if you are struggling with loving your children, just know you are not, you are not alone. Not by a long shot. You are not alone. All right, so we ended up with six um, chicken ramen and four, eight. Wait, is this? This is me. Okay. Oh, because y'all took one of the chickens. Okay, so six chicken, and we have um, 11 beef. It was throwing me off because they ate some of them. So I'm like, wait a second, I'm missing some chicken. But no, 11 beef and we got six chicken. Um, I did it like that because I like chicken ramen. My kids aren't too fond of it. They'll eat it if it's in the house and, they're, and they want some ramen noodles or something like that. But um, they really like beef. So the majority of them are beef. All right, so this was so simple to do. Um, it does take a little bit of prep work because you do have to dehydrate your meats if you are using meat. If you are not using meat, then you would need a lot of vegetables. Um, we didn't have as many vegetables. I had only done a couple of bags of frozen vegetables um, a while back. It's been a couple of weeks, but we did peas and carrots. Um, I dehydrated those and did dehydrate the chicken as well as the ground beef. And so next time I might just do like... Um, beef cuts and you know dice them up tiny and dehydrate those but this is what we had and so these are going to go on my pantry shelf and i am so glad that they're going to be on there because these are going to be used for emergencies um if the power happens to go out or if we need an emergency meal really quick i can use these for other things besides just ramen cups i can use them for making soups or maybe a quick type of stir fry or something like that but this was easy. I think, you know, you guys can do this too. Um, like I said, there was a little bit of prep work that needed to be done. They are sealed. I use my jar sealer. Oh, this one is not. I think that's the only one that's not. I did use my jar sealer. Yeah, you can come get the, the, top, the thing for it. I did use my jar sealer. So these will sit on my pantry shelf. And um, yeah, so my kids helped. And it was a really fun project to do with them. They had a lot of fun doing it. And um, it was fun for them to be able to learn something new. I am happy that... No, no, no. Remember, you have to put the thing on there first. <laughs> so silly. I'm just really happy to have these. Um, thank you for spending some time with me today. We did some ramen cups and just spent some little family time together. Nothing extravagant. But go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Like, comment down below. Uh, if you want to see more of this type of content, let me know um, in the comments below. But I'm so glad that you spent some time with me today. This is Christ's First Homemaking, and I am signing off.